were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Virgo, let's see what's happening for you. The Five of Swords, dun, 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 dun. here they come. So we could be jealous of you. You know, you've won, you're winning. Something's happening fast for you. Eight of Wands here. You could be traveling, getting married, a proposal, a surprise proposal while traveling. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the Chariot card, yeah, something about travel, moving. Um, something moving really fast for you. You could be excelling, doing well, promotion, concerned about career, um, dominating others, you know, winning altogether. Let's see. Um, you could also be looking very good while doing it. You're staying emotionally and mentally, you know, uh, stable, on point. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, that could be you. Um, I don't know, like direction, whatever you're saying, whatever you're communicating or how you communicate very direct. I don't know something about, I don't know, cars or uh, talking about cars or talking about luxury items or uh, the future. Or you could be communicating uh, maybe about the future, astrology. It looks like whatever you're saying, people take to it. Uh, you're getting a lot of followers or a lot of people wanting to um, patronize you. Let's see. Getting a lot of patronage. See, pay, yeah, you're learning about the tarot, divination, or this is what you do, you, or you read, or you, you, you're teaching others, you, are, you have students under you, or you have people learning from you, or you are learning, learning about uh, maybe astrology, astronomy, uh, the tarot, healthy li living, eating, herbology, six of cups with the king of wands and the devil. Okay, so... definitely could be learning about the tarot about esoteric knowledge you could also be learning about karma or karmic people um you could be learning about the past sharing your gift to help people come out of karmic past situations to help people activate move be determined have inspiration to come out of unhealthy situations, so healthy, unhealthy. Come from, you know, um, helping people get to health and come out of unhealthy situations, uh, patterns, helping people to realize patterns in their life also, and helping people come into the light and out of the dark. The Five of Cups and the King of Cups. You could be in a capacity, I heard social social worker. You could be with children, you could work with children. You could be like, again, learning students, 
tutelage. You're teaching children. I'm not, it's like you categorize children in your class by uh, zodiac signs. Like you can pick up their movements or their, you can anticipate their mood or anticipate, yeah, how they'll treat you or what they'll do. See, you can anticipate collapse, calamity, failure, natural disaster, outbursts, hurt. You can be intuitive. Whatever this is allows you to deal with a lot of different personalities at one time. What is going on here for Virgo? What is happening for Virgo? You're definitely dealing with some people who are underdeveloped, immature. And some of you could be going to psychic seer, astrologer, astrologist, whatever to anticipate somebody's next move also let's see what is happening with Virgo at this time it looks interesting though tell me what is going on with you down on the comment third exception third exception third house perception so speech yeah your thoughts um social media discussions siblings dating so I don't know you could be Communicating about, you know, maybe like um, social activities, fourth house with the family background habits. I don't know, it's like you're anticipating somebody's habits. I said that. Or what they'll, what they'll do habitually. Perception. Oh, yeah. So maybe you could be looking at the tarot to the tarot astrology to People study also like to anticipate someone's habits or what they'll do next. This is also maybe studying the astrology so you can anticipate natural disaster, if any. Yeah, Capricorn, you could be your own boss. Again, looking at the Tarot, you're serious, you're ambitious, realistic, corporate. You could be in a corporate, corporate setting. So you could be looking at the Tarot astrology to try to anticipate what's going to happen at work or with people at work this also could be with you know immature people if you are maybe a teacher of some sort what is what's going on here okay make it up pisces the mystic so definitely like um being empathetic spiritual, magical. I don't know, you could be doing some magic or trying to figure out what magic spell you need to do in regards to the people that you're dealing with or you're around. 12th house. Like, you got some big lesson here. You also could be doing work to come up in your career. It also could be sacrifice or what you need to sacrifice or who or what deity, God, you need to sacrifice to to come up in your career. Because you got Capricorn coming up twice. You could be in the industry, uh, entertainment industry. Uh, yep. You could, again, want to be a butterfly. want to transform. You want to step into your north node. You really want to ascend. You could be maybe sacrificing to Venus. I don't know. The planet of Venus could be significant so that you can, you know, be in the lap of luxury, uh, wealth you know, sensuality, also be sexy, like sex appeal. Yeah, you want money, assets, you're doing something on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like you're trying to be or being You could work around some very immature people. Or, let's see. Yeah, all right, so that one fell. So you're trying to have abundance. You're trying to have more than enough. I can't make it up. Kids coming out. You can work with kids or immature people. Yeah, you want to have people you maybe um, kind of are jealous of you or look after you because your beauty. Um, they love you or you want love. Um, you could be divorcing or leaving something, yep, running, leaving it behind, trying to protect yourself, maybe do some type of protection work 
Wow, spiritual. Can't make it up. Doing like some spiritual protective work so you can leave something behind. You can walk away. Um, protect yourself from these like toxic people. Toxic people you work with, see every day. I don't know. This one's broken. What's the advice here? Let me know how this resonates for you. What do you it's like you're trying to protect yourself from a particular person or one person. I mean, no, from several people or one person. Maybe how you communicate or I don't know. What's happening here? Someone could be after you, after your job. I don't know. Could be Gemini. Knight of Cups. The Tower. Okay. Some of you are trying to get a third party out of your marriage or your relationship. The Five of Swords being the first. So you're fighting for something. You're willing to do battle for a relationship, for a love affair. You could be the third party but there also could be that you're either fighting for it or someone's fighting against you. It's a fight for, yeah, there's you fight for. You could be trying to get, damn, with the devil again. I don't know if you could be doing some black magic here. Wow, with the high priestess. Yep, secret. Doing something and throwing your, you know, hiding your hand here. Page of Pentacles could be you, could be someone else. Because you're trying to get something. You're trying to win. Um, or you're trying to get things back to a calm and peaceful place. Someone's under judgment, or you want someone to be under judgment? I'm trying to get like some youthful, playful, sex only, no strings attached type of person out of Nine of Swords, out of your marriage. The Hierophant. All right, let me know what's going on. Um, get your own personal reading at the website level. Readings are on sale. Or take advantage. I'll pin the sale readings at the top of the comment section and then um you can uh catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time you can also get your um complimentary discovery call just go ahead and and uh schedule that to see if I, we can get on a call and if i can help you with your business endeavors or you can join the monthly ktmg keep the momentum going uh conference call excuse me, where you will be um, met with other like-minded individuals where we're sharing spiritual and practical practice to uh, further start and um, maintain your business. Um, you'll get individual spell work, uh, mantras, meditation work um, to bring in more business or get you to a place where you can even start business. So this is holistic, intuitive, business coaching go ahead and and jump into this this is really going to help you um take the next step if anything so uh, all links are below thank you many blessings to you